At Baloo Prep School, we are particularly fortunate to be surrounded by beautiful gardens. I wonder if you've ever taken a walk around the campus and just taken time to notice all the beautiful plants and flowers that surround us. I particularly like it in summer when the rainy season arrives and the flowers in the garden start to bloom. Welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at a botanical artist named Georgia O'Keeffe. A botanical artist is an artist that bases their work around flowers or plants. We are going to be concentrating on the elements of art of shape and value. So I certainly hope you enjoy today's lesson. Follow along and let's get started. Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist. She was well known for her paintings of enlarged flowers. In this project, we are going to be looking at a macro view of a flower. A macro view means an enlarged view or a close-up view of an object. With your camera, go have a look at some flowers that are growing in your garden. You're going to be taking a macro view or a close-up photo of those flowers. If you don't have access to a garden, you're more than welcome to pause the video now and use some of the flowers in this video. For this project, you're going to need the following. An A4 piece of white paper, an eraser, pencil, some colored pastels or colored pencils if you do not have colored pastels. On the back of your page, plan your composition. Composition means how we lay out the drawing or picture that we're going to be doing. You can have the iris or the middle of the flower on either side and use an asymmetrical composition or you can have the middle of the flower in the middle of the page and have a symmetrical composition. I've decided to use a symmetrical composition, which means the iris or the middle of the flower is going to be in the middle of the page. Taking your time, remember the golden rule of art is patience, sketch out your flower in pencil. Remember this is the macro view that we are drawing, which means we're not going to see the stem and the leaves of the flower, but only the center and the petals in the middle. Pay attention to the shapes of your petals. Are they concentric in shape? In other words, does the shape repeat itself and go around the center of the flower again and again? Do they radiate in a linear fashion towards the edges of the page? I'm gonna add color with colored pencils. To emphasize shape, pay attention to the direction in which you draw the lines. We're also going to emphasize form by adding value to our flower. Value means the different lights and darks or different tones. Push harder in the areas where you find shadows and lighter where you find highlights or lighter shades in your flower. Remember to be patient. This drawing should take you at least two hours. Well, I certainly enjoyed today's lesson. I enjoyed drawing a macro picture of a flower. And I certainly enjoyed the way that you use tone and value to emphasize the shape of that flower. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'm gonna see you in next week's episode.